Hey YouTube, I'm here with another e-liquid review and today I'm going to add a few components. I just picked up the mail and I got some new components here. So uh, let's take a look at what I got in the mail first. First of all, I got this 29 gauge Canthal A1 resistance wire and I got this from Tamco. Um, they're on eBay and I picked it up pretty cheap. This is 25 feet. It was uh, around five bucks. Um, pretty good value. Uh, I got the suggestion from one of my commenters. I really appreciate that. Thanks. Uh, I don't remember your name, but uh, it was recommended to get 28 gauge cantle wire. There was no 28 gauge cantle wire. I looked after the after I read the comment, and it was at good price. I think it was like uh, five bucks or something like that. But uh, you know, I didn't have the money at the time, so I waited. Next time I looked, it was like 12 bucks. Uh, they said they're running out of 28 gauge cantle wire. So I think I got the next best, best thing. This is 29 gauge cantle wire. And I wrapped my wick. I um, also took another suggestion here. Uh, I put a washer on it. I really didn't want to do this. I didn't have uh, very many washers. Uh, you know, I didn't have any washers this size. This is really a really small post. So I took a split washer and I crimped it a little bit. Um, it's doing a really good job reducing that hot spot in the gap right there. I know I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six wraps of this 29 gauge cantle wire on uh, number 400 stainless steel mesh. I don't quite remember the dimensions uh, for the length and width of the stainless steel mesh, but uh, I'm telling you, this is posting 1.2 ohms and it gets red hot. Um, it's at three volts, and I was doing some heat tests with it, and all of all the coils are just firing. It's really, really hot. Uh, now I know number 400 stainless steel mesh might not keep up with a setup like this, so I already ordered number 500 stainless steel mesh, and this is from uh, Vapor Sigs. I did a review. Uh, that's where I got the uh, um, Aga T2 and Evic setup. So I got some stainless steel mesh, and I'm not sure what this is. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the excuse me this is the number 500 stainless steel mesh but I'm not sure what this this is right here I don't know what they gave me because uh, it's more than what I ordered uh, so I think they gave me a little bit more uh, that's also where I got this uh, no messy um, drip tip it's nice uh, kinda completes the the silver package so I'm gonna see how this this runs with this new uh, caramel apple Carmel Apple from SNG Vapor out of uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota. Again, this was given to me. Um, this is, you know, I have no idea how this is gonna this is gonna work. This is the bottle that it comes in. Um, kind of looks like there's a little floaty in there. I'm not sure what that is. So, smelling it. Uh, this is 20 milligram. It was given to me. My brother gave it to me uh, free. You know, he's just started. Uh, 20 milligram is really high. I think he thinks 20 milligram is really high now too. So um, definitely going to dial it back on orders that I make. Um, smelling it, I can definitely smell like a, a caramel flavor. Um, I'm not sure if I smell any apple. I think I smell a lot of the nicotine in there, and uh, I, I'm i not sure, it's 20 milligram, that's just outrageous for me. But I did vape all of that raspberry truffle that I uploaded yesterday, which uh, or July 4th, I'm not sure when this is going to go up, which was outstanding, I thought it was really good, um, but uh, I am a, I'm a pretty heavy vapor, so that did, did not last me more than a day. So here's the uh, viscosity of it, I'm pulling it up with the the plunger, excuse me, the uh, blunt tip syringe. And I wonder if you can actually see that. I wonder if that is a uh, piece of apple. I don't know what that is. Now I'm told S&G makes their own. They mix it right in the store. Um, I think that's really cool. Uh, I have no idea anything else about them because they're really new, at least to uh, my knowledge. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, prime this wick.
and see how this performs. So I'm doing like three tests, no, two tests today. I'm testing the new wire and also this new fluid. I'm really not sure how this is going to perform. Should perform pretty good. Uh, right now it says it's 1.2 ohms, but I like to reset it after filling it with fluid, firing it a little bit. Still at wow, 1.2 ohms resistance. This is at 3 volts. I guess i um, give it a 3.3 volts. Yeah, that's firing pretty good. All the coils are firing anyway. It's not going to go very high because it has a, a limit of 11 watts. And I'm at 3.5 volts with 10.2 watts. Mmm, that smells really good. That smells really caramely. Mmm, yeah. I like that smell. Boy, let's see how it vapes. not bad for a two second puff that's pretty cloudy that's pretty good that's pretty good um, I think, I think one of the problems I have is that the nicotine is too much, and I get a lot of, a lot of flavor from nicotine. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm turning. I turned it down. I'm gonna turn it back down. Uh, Three point two volts. I'm gonna try that. Hmm. Oh yeah, that is um, that's pretty good caramel flavor. I'm not, I'm not sure what the apple flavor is, or if I uh, if I taste it. I wonder if it's a, a sour. You know what? One more beat. Oh uh, yeah, and there it is. There the flavor just hit me. It tastes really good, um, like a uh, uh, like one of those green Granny Smith apples, coated in caramel. Um, I think the apple is a little bit more of an aftertaste, and the caramel is more of a uh, inhalation taste. Like that, that's the first taste you get when you inhale it. Oh, uh, the caramel's really sweet. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to run through the wick a little bit. It tastes better. So you can see the vapor production is, is really good. Um, I've... I've just been hitting this um, was just like two or three second vapes and you can see it's uh, even with the new um, excuse me with the new uh, 29 gauge count the wire it's performing really well that was a 4.6 second vape uh, that's um, it's really good the caramel's really good um, I think unfortunately I'm going to have to, maybe not unfortunately, maybe fortunately, I'm going to have to go through and buy something with uh, a less nicotine content because I'm getting uh, Nick sick just vaping this, uh, but I'll probably vape the whole thing all today because I love to vape. Uh, 
so the taste is good. Um, directly, you know, it's really it's got a really sweet uh, caramel flavor. It's not overly sweet either, which I like. Um, I tend to not enjoy the super sugary fluids. Excuse me. Uh, but it, it's got a it's got a nice um, mild caramel coating flavor to it, and then it's then. It, in there, there's this like a uh, bite of uh, crisp green apple, which I enjoy. Uh, for me, I don't think the flavor is too strong. Yeah, it's pretty mild sweet. On the sweetness level, it's pretty mild. Um, I don't think the flavor is overly powerful, but I don't think it's it's uh, terribly weak either. It's it's really nice, um, and as you can see, the vapor production is really good. Now, if I were uh, on this th 35 gauge cantha wire that that I was using, I would just vape, and I might even go over to the 10 second protection. Um, I'll just power rip it one time just to show you what a normal vape for me would look like, and you'll probably see. Uh, let's let's find out together. Not as good as I thought it was. That was 9.2. 7.3. 20 milligrams of nicotine has got a pretty strong throw dip. So I don't know. I like the I like the new gauge. Wire 2, definitely thank you for the suggestion. It's performing a lot better than I expected. Um, you know, I do got six wraps on there. I don't know how many wraps I can go. I'm going to go with this uh, 500, uh, number 500 uh, steel mesh later on in a different video. But, uh, yeah, so it's kind of two reviews today. Uh, thanks for the comment. Appreciate it. Uh, took your suggestion, and I think it's performing a lot better than 35-gauge cantha wire. I'm not getting the rips I thought I would get with those uh, power inhales, but with just like four or five seconds, I can get a, a nice vapor rip. Which I enjoy. Um, I did order an iClear 6, 16. It's an iClear 16. And that's a dual coil uh, clear miser. I got that coming. I don't know when it's going to be here. Um, they're from Grand Forks. So that's only like two hours away. Uh, I'll probably get it tomorrow. Um, as for the final review of the vapor, um, I definitely got to get something with, with less nicotine in it. 20 milligrams is awfully strong for me. Um, it's performing really well. Uh, the vapor output is really good. Um, I'd like to show you how well these vapors perform in the, their iClear 16 dual coil uh, clearmizer. Um, I thought that was uh, phenomenal production. It's a lot tighter, but I'll show you that in uh, as soon as I get it. I'll just throw it on. Um, it's good flavor. Um, it's, it's got a nice mild caramely flavor to it, and then it's got a nice. Uh, it's got it's got kind of a crisp apple flavor to it. Um, again, I got this uh, free from uh, a local store. I got their card right here. But uh, if you want to buy one of their flavors, you can. Um, it's at sngvapor.com. The sun didn't even let you see that I apologize uh, this is a, a 10 10 milliliter bottle they got I should open up their web page one second so you can order 10 milliliter 30 milliliter uh, both of those are in plastic they do have a 30 milliliter in glass and then a 60 milliliter in glass and if you want you can get 120 milliliters in glass Wow 120 milliliters that's actually a pretty good price for 120 milliliters. I might have to get something like that. Um, I really enjoy the plastic. Excuse me, I enjoy the glass more than I like the plastic. So I'll have to get something in glass just to see how that looks. Um, 
it's good. It's a good flavor. Uh, I don't know how often I'll vape it because I'm not super huge into sugary sweet flavors, but uh, I definitely vape it all. And uh, you know, I might buy some more. I really like the the citrusy fruity flavors, and I do like the um, the bite of uh, crisp green apple in here. And it's got really good vapor production. Uh, at least I think so. So check out SNG Vapor if you want to. Uh, maybe pick up some uh, caramel apple. Um, it's good vapor. Now if you like this review, click like. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, I love comments. I appreciate reading all the comments. And I will re respond. I tend to respond to every comment I get. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, click subscribe. I'll be doing more. Uh, E-Sig uh, liquid reviews and uh, product reviews in the future. Until next video, bye.